Hi there again, friends. I just I just want to take take some time and make a video concerning um, the revival in Ashbury. I know stuff like this. Um, you know, it's difficult for uh, people to believe that uh, you know there could be a revival and the Holy Spirit can be present. So I um, I strongly believe that we are in a, a season right now of harvest, um, a season where we'll see more of the presence of the Lord. And many or most of us are accustomed to, um, you know, traditional way of, of or, or looking back at his historically um, to interpret this revival in terms of like historically but we have to remember that God is the creator and he can do as he pleases so I just want to take the time to uh, just point out some scriptures um, in support of faith and that the revival in Ashbury, Kentucky, is is um is legit, and being being a believer and being a Christian, uh, it's definitely faith based. Uh, I just want to recall in the story with um, Thomas. Thomas was uh, one of the disciples of Jesus, and after the resurrection, Jesus appeared to some of the disciples, but Thomas was not there. And imagine Thomas was this guy who walked with Jesus for um, a good amount of time. And, um, you know, he heard Jesus explaining uh, scripture and uh, re revealing things to them and teaching them. And yet still he doubted that Jesus was resurrected. So with saying that, I'm going to grab my, my Bible and find um, the book with Thomas. I want to say that that is Matthew. Yeah, let me, let me get to Matthew. If I don't get it straight away, I'll get it as I go through different scripture just to um, point out how miraculous uh, our God works and why it takes faith to tie all of all of tie our belief make our belief stronger so let's see here is it Matthew 5 Matthew 5. Uh, actually, no, it's not Matthew 5, but Matthew 5, it's a great um, scripture to, to add in there just to show, um, you know, why a revival could be legit. And it doesn't have to be thousands of people because it could just be two people. Um, in the scripture, remember Jesus said, where two or three are, there I am. So Matthew 5, 6 talk about, um, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. So um, the presence of God, the presence of the Holy Spirit, um, or the Holy Spirit is present where there is hunger where uh, believers actually seek him, actually look for him, actually <clears throat> prayed for him. So I just want to read that again. It's Matthew 5, 6. Uh, it says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. We live in a society today where people would... Um, more believe in 
in, um, you know, something in the news or some bad news rather than, um, you know, something scripture, something related to scripture, something related to faith, where as a believer, as a Christian, you need to be faith. If you don't have faith, then you have no, you would not, you're not, you're not formed, you're not built on, on a solid foundation. Like, you know, I'm referencing the story with the sower and the seed. Um, when, as the sower was walking along, sowing seed, some of the seed fell in the, on the path and the birds ate it. Those are like, you know, you just have a little skimmy, just heard a little uh, nippets or snippet of, of the story, but, you know, there's no foundation there. Um, so you would hear it, but because there's no foundation, there's no root. So it would just be swept away. Bard would just eat that. Then as the sower keep moving along, some seed fell on rocky ground. Uh, it did germinate and seedling come up, but when the sun comes up, it shined and those, the sun scorched those plants and they died. That's for someone who believed the word as soon as they hear it, but uh, there's no there's no solid foundation for it to be based in faith. So um, any any pressure or any um, high wind or any um, doubt or someone convince them as to something else that that belief would would not stand but then as the sower keep moving along some of the seed fell on thorny bushes and uh, I want to say that they they sprang up but then the thorn choked them out that's for someone who heard the word but then the troubles of life and influences choke the word out so again um nothing becomes of that so that's why our belief in the scripture our, our belief in christ or faith in christ uh for instance the book of mark i want to say mark eleven twenty two. it said have faith in god so our faith needs to be be solid needs to be firm in 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 something that is unmovable and shakeable and um, I'm, I digress a little bit, but I just want to move back to the sower and the seed. Lastly, um, the sower, so, sower, sower, sow seed on on fertile ground, and those seeds sprang up to 30%, 60%, and 100%, or I want to say it's fold or yield. But what I'm saying that our faith needs to be strong. We need to have faith in God. We don't need to have faith in in a minister or a pastor or a priest um because the word is written in our heart we need to take the time to read our bible um so that oh so that the seed which is sowed in us can be fertile and it can yield 30% 60% and 100% because I strongly believe that we're in a season of, of harvest right now. So that was Matthew 5, 6. Um, how about Matthew 8? Matthew 8, um, 8, 5. The story of the centurion. So I'm going to read Matthew 8. I'll read from verse 5. So this, uh, so it, here it goes. When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him. And the centurion, I want to say it's a Roman um, soldier, um, someone of, of high position, high ranking in the Roman army. At that time so a centurion came to him asking for help Lord he said my servant lies at home paralyzed suffering terribly 
Jesus said to him, this is Jesus now, he said, shall I come and heal him? The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority with soldiers under me. I tell this one go and he goes. So the centurion He's just referring to words that Jesus does not have to come because I could send a message to someone who is under my authority and they would they would be obedient to that. So the centurion, because of his faith, is saying, okay, Jesus, you're the word, you're the creator of all things. If you just send your word, my soldier will be healed. That's why Jesus said... Um, the centurion said, you don't have to come. All you need to do is send your word. So when Jesus heard this, and I'm reading 8, 10 now. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Truly I tell you, I have not found anyone in this, in Israel, with such great faith. Again, it takes faith to be a believer. It takes hunger to be a believer. And again, Jesus said, we're two and three gathers. There I am. So a revival could, could happen on any scale and it could happen anywhere. Um, all you have to do is believe. Even Jesus was not very effective in his own home tongue because they weren't uh, as, as many believers there. So... Being in this faith, being to, to be considered as a Christian, you know, we need to have faith. We need to surrender um, to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We have to surrender so we can see him, so we can feel him, so we can have fellowship with him. And I'm just going to skip ahead to Matthew 8, 13. Then Jesus said to the centurion, go, let it be done just as you believe it would. And his servant was healed at that moment. So I, I hope that kind of give a, a clearer um, or solidify uh, our belief and understanding that, that um, we have to minimize doubt and embrace faith more. So that was Matthew 8. Um, I did re read Matthew 5, 6. Hunger. Um, let's go to James. James 5, 13. So... No, let's do John, James, yeah, it's James, James 5, 13. Um, so James 5, 13, let me see here, what does 12 say? Okay, so 513, anyone among you in trouble, let them pray. Anyone among you in trouble, it's a question, anyone among, is anyone among you in trouble, let them pray. Is anyone happy, let them sing song of praise. I'll move on to James 516 which says, and I really want to focus on the, 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 the B part, the second part of it, but I'll read the whole thing from 16. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of the righteous person is powerful and effective. 
Amen. Again, um, you know, just just to solidify and have a, a firm understanding on on the kind of faith it takes to to um, stay in, in in belief, to stay in hunger, so we can experience uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, what other book I can? Uh, Oh, so as I was thinking about this, I my mind ran to the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel 21, 26. Ezekiel 21, 26. I'm getting there. Okay. Ezekiel 21. So, okay. Ezekiel 21, 26. This is how... Um, again, the silent five faith to understand um, why you can or how you can experience Christ anywhere anytime anyhow with solid a solid belief system with surrendering with acknowledging with with hunger with calling on 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 the lord uh so i'll read ezekiel 21 26 so this is what the sovereign lord said and this is jeremiah um, when the word of the Lord came to him. This is what the servant Lord said. Take off your turban. Remove your crown. So we know turban, both turban and a crown, their headgears. Um, so turban signify in some culture like religious. So the word of God came to Jeremiah to tell the people that, listen, remove that religious thought. Remove that crown of hierarchy. Um, it will not be as it was. Okay, it will not be as it was. The lowly will exalt. The lowly will be exalted, and the exalted will be brought low. Again, God can do as He pleases. He is Creator. Um. Let's see here. So that was Ezekiel. How about... How about... Uh, let's see here. John. The book of John. John 20. John. Book of John. Okay, so John twenty. Let's see which one here? It's good. Good, so we can um, remove doubt and solidify that a revival or experience in the Holy Spirit. Or having fellowship with the Holy Spirit, or having the Holy Spirit guide our step, can happen anytime, any place, long as we pray, long as we believe with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our soul. Um, again, our scripture said, "Ask, and it shall be given to you. Knock, and it shall be opened." Meaning, ask. You don't have it, but you have to ask. Knock, and it will be opened. Someone need to open it up for you so i want to read john 20 john 2024 20, let's see oh yeah so this here it's with doubtful uh, the story with doubtful thomas i'm not sure if i did touch on that i i probably did touch on it but i i don't i'm not sure if i read it but i'm just gonna read to the end 
So this is Jesus replying to John. Then Jesus told told him, which is John, and this is John um, 20, 29. Because you have seen me, you have believed. But Jesus said, Bless are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Again, this is faith, faith base, and um, faith comes by hearing, uh, reading, reading the scripture because scripture is inspired by the spirit, inspired by the word of God. Um, with with all our gates, with hearing, seeing, um, sensing, feeling. Um, associating with with believers and meditating on the word meditating the word of god um, so how about jeremiah jeremiah 29 jeremiah 29 13 i actually like jeremiah 29 13 um, Jeremiah twenty nine thirteen. Um, So Jeremiah 29, 13. Um, so then, so the word of the Lord again came on Jeremiah. And 20, I'll read from 12. Then it said, then you will call on me. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me. And I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declare the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. So we cannot forget, um, during the time that Jesus was on earth, scholars and priests and Pharisees who studied all the laws and studied all the scripture at the time could not recognize our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because of doubt and disbelief and lack of faith. So that's why it's, it's very important for us to um, don't just don't doubt the Holy Spirit. We don't want to blaspheme the Holy Spirit but um, have an eyes to see and an ears or pray for an eyes to see and an ears to hear. Pray for discernment um, by the Holy Spirit. Um, ask in, in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Ask for um, an encounter. Pray for an encounter. Uh, so let's see here. I'm coming down to the end right now, but I'm sure I could find a couple more scriptures to um to wrap things up. Um, to testify, to, so we all can glorify our Lord and Savior. Jeremiah 18, Jeremiah 18, I read that some time ago, okay, so, um, so Jeremiah 18, I'll read from 5, if you're still having question um, about the revival in Asbury, Kentucky, um, remember, friends, that God He's creator. Um, 
he looks down to see if there's anyone who still believe or anyone that seeks him or hunger for him, that anyone who um, sincerely prayed and asked for an encounter, uh, just going back to like ask and it shall be given to you, knock and it shall be open. So ask for the eyes to see and the ears to hear, knock and, and um, you know, we could have revival in different places um, because doubt is the opposite of faith. And when you doubt, uh, you cannot experience uh, Christ. You cannot experience the Holy Spirit. You cannot experience um, the kingdom of God. So Jeremiah 18, 5, Then the word of the Lord come to me, he said, Come to me, he said. Can I not do with you, Israel, as the potter does, declared the Lord? Like clay in hand of the potter, so you are in my hand, Israel. I'm just going to read one more. Seven. If at any time I announce that a nation or kingdom is to be uprooted, thrown down, and destroyed. And if that nation, I warn, repent of its evil, then I will relent and not afflict on it the disaster I had planned. So again, uh, friends, um, God is creator. He is the potter. Um, he can do as, as he pleases. Um, we as ambassadors of the kingdom of uh, heaven, um, we can experience his presence. All we need to do is pray and seek and hunger. And um, wherever two or three of us gather and believe that's where he is i'm gonna read one more and that would be um let's go to sam sam's uh, um, maybe. sam's 53 so it's sam's 53 two and I, again i'm reading um from the niv sam 53 two oh so I did allude to this here. Um, so God looks down from heaven and on all mankind to see if there is, if there are any who understand, any who seek God. God is always looking and waiting. Um, because he wants he wants us his children to worship him to praise him to glorify him and i'm going to end with this friends if you ask if you're going to ask me again i believe that the revival in ashbury it's it's legit it's happening um we're in a season of harvest and Revival could be happen, happening in every corner of this earth. All we need to do is have the hunger and believe and ask our Lord and Savior to be in our midst. As he said, wherever two or three gather in my name and believe, that's where I am. So you have a blessed day in Christ and Continue strengthening your faith and continue believing in our Lord and Savior. Have a great day.